Oh, just before recording, I bumped into the table and spilled a bit. I'm trying to clean it up as quick as possible before it spills, but I think I got the majority of it. Oh, that sucks. Nothing on the controller though. I think we're good there. All right, so I haven't made one of these in a while. Um, this is gonna be my gaming set of video. And yeah, I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, we're already looking at it right now, but yeah. I'm gonna be going around just showing you guys what I game on. Um, my little, you know, workstation here. Uh, I'm gonna start from left to right. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If there's anything I should add or anything you guys recommend. This isn't something that's, you know, completely crazy or anything like that. I've been watching some gaming setup videos and, and workstation setup videos and people just have like a lot of stuff. This one, it's very minimal. It works. And yeah, this is where I chill. This is where I game. So let's get to it. Okay, so we'll start off with this couch right here. So this one I got a couple months ago and it gets the job done. I believe it's from Ashley Home Store, is that what it's called? Um, it's a furniture store. It's a nice couch. I've, you know, I've been gaming on it, sitting down for hours, watching movies and stuff. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what I interact with the most on a day-to-day -day basis, you know, morning, night, whenever I'm here. I'm sitting on this couch and yeah, it's pretty comfortable. I guess the job thing, you can even lay down, take a nap right there. I'll leave it linked down below if I can find it. It's, it should still be on there. Um, I cleaned up the table. You guys saw the little accidents I had earlier. And we got a little blanky here because it has been cold lately. Um, so moving right along, we have a little lamp here from Target. And then we have this Saturn planet neon thing going on. I got it from Amazon a couple years ago back in 2020. Yeah, it's been through three different setups. This is the third one, so it's it's making a return. Um, I'm a Dodger fan. We got Mariachi Kelly here, Joe Kelly, bobblehead from uh, September. There's a bobblehead giveaway at the stadium. And then we have Justin Turner. He's no longer with the team, or at least not at the moment. You know, there's a chance he might come back. All right, and now we are moving on to the actual gaming stuff. So we got Two little plans here. We have my, my Wi-Fi router here from Cox, and we have the PS5. So this is the original PS5, it, it is the disc model. It's not the original one, you know, like the very first one that came out on release. I got this one November of 2022, and this was one of the revised models. I believe it has like a, a different chipset, a, a more updated chipset to prevent some, I don't know, there was some issue from the original that they fixed with this one, so. This is that model that fixed that issue. I forget exactly what that was. I don't even know that that was the case when I bought it, but yeah, good to know. Um, this little side plate here, the camo, um, I did make a video on it a couple months ago. I'll leave it linked down below if you want to check it out. But I think that side panel, it's on both sides. Um, it was around 40 bucks, I believe. It'll be linked below. Down here, please ignore the cables in the bag. I try to be organized, but I'm mainly focused on hiding them because there are a lot. Uh, we got two headsets. This is the Turtle Beach Stealth 600 Gen 2. I rarely use it just because I, you know, I'm, I'm gaming on a TV now. I don't really use a monitor to game, so the TV speakers are good enough. I've had it for a couple years, but I don't really use it. Uh, this is the Corsair Void, I believe that's the name of it. This one I do use more frequently. It's for my PC um, when I'm editing videos, watching, you know, YouTube on PC, um, listening to music, you know, whatever, working on PC. I'm, I am using that headset, so. It, it is used a little bit more than the uh, the Turtle Beach over here. Once again, I do have the PS5 disc model, so I do still have a lot of physical discs. I still prefer getting these games, these discs, and actually I tried to um, to dust this a little bit and it kind of fell apart, so I just gotta organize it a little bit. But yeah, you guys can pause the video, uh, check out the games I have here. These are only, I'd say about half of the games I have. Uh, the other ones are on PS4, and I have a bunch that are uh, digital, downloaded, um, so we got Spider-Man, GTA, Resident Evil 4, MW2, Last of Us Part 1. Um, yeah, there's a lot of games. I haven't played through all of them. Uh, some of them I got because they were on sale, and I will eventually play through all of them. And I have two copies of Spider-Man Miles Morales. I don't remember how that happened, but yeah, I, I have two of them. Uh, then we got a little random box here of cables and random boxes back there. Um, got a little PC toolkit, and I believe there's an, uh, like a portable SSD in that second case over there to carry around and stuff. I used to edit on the go, uh, but I haven't really done that, so that's just been sitting there. And now this TV right here. Okay, so we took a seat just so you can see what I see when I'm gaming, uh, sitting down on the couch here. So this TV, it's a 43-inch um, Sony X85J. They do make this model in 48-inch, 55-inch, and I believe 75-inch models um, but I got the 42 because the apartment that I was before this one it was a studio and that was the biggest I can go there wasn't much space but now you know I'll probably eventually get 
a, a bigger TV for this space here. But yeah, it's a 4K TV. I got it for maybe 700 bucks around the same time that I got the PS5. It was November 2022. Actually, you know what? It was a year before that. It was uh, November 2021. So yeah, I've had it for quite a bit now, uh, a little over two years. And it's, it's been getting the job done. I did used to play games on monitors for past seven years before that. And now that I'm back to playing PS5 on, on a TV, it's been great on this one. You know, I don't really feel any lag with the response time or anything like that. Everything's been buttery smooth. Granted, I don't play competitive games. Like uh, I, I used to play Call of Duty uh, competitively a lot. I don't do that anymore. I'm now just a you know casual gamer playing through Spider-Man, playing through Red Dead and you know, whatever games are released. So for that, this TV is, is perfect. All right, and with that said, uh, this little stand thing that the TV is on, I got it from OfferUp. I don't really know the name of it or anything like that. I just, I was looking for something for the TV and uh, yeah, I got that for like, I think it was 40 bucks. Um, it was pretty good. All right, that's enough of that. Let's go to the PS4. So this PS4 right here, I've had since 2014. This one, uh, I mean, it, I got it seven months after it was released because uh, they came out 2013. And yeah, I mean, this is gonna be 10 years old this year. Oh wow, April uh, 2014 is when we got it. It works, I, I don't use it as much and the last time I used it a lot was 2022 mid-year. Uh, it was before I got the PS5, but it's still going it's strong. Uh, it makes some, some noise, some fan noises, but got a dusty controller there. But it still works if I wanted to, you know, fully play through I don't know, what do we have here? Horizon, uh, Resident Evil 2, Red Dead 2, Spider-Man. If I wanted to play through any of those on PS4, I would have no issues. I mean, <laughs> you can see that I haven't touched those because of, you know, how much dust there is. But if I wanted to, this thing still works and I could still use it with no problem. Um, I have a couple books here. Uh, I've been trying to read a little bit more. We got a Optic Gaming book here, uh, Random Walk Down Wall Street, and the Power of the Subconscious Mind, I think that is the name of it. That's the one I'm starting this year. Got a couple little Funko Pops. Got a little Mario figure there. I think that was from uh, a Happy Meal, uh, McDonald's. We got Chucky. A couple random boxes here for some PC parts. And we got the Blue Yeti microphone. Yeah. So, that pretty much uh, takes care of everything here for the TV setup, uh, my little console setup. We have a money tree here. This thing's been growing. I got it back at the end of September and it was probably at the height of that ruler uh, about a foot high and now you know it's pretty much double that. This thing grows quickly. It likes that spot. No uh, direct sunlight. Yeah it, it's happy there. Hopefully it uh, makes me some money soon. Uh, yeah this little table here from Ikea. It's pretty popular. Um, things like 10-15 bucks. I forget the name of it, but I think everyone has one at this point. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a primary coffee table like I'm using it, but it gets the job done, man. This thing's good. You know, sometimes when I'm sitting here just watching TV, playing some games, I look to my right and I see that I am very fortunate to also have a, a separate setup here uh, for my computer. So let's go check that out. I remember back in the day, you know, a little over 10 years ago, I used to have to sit on my bed and play on a TV that was in my closet that was on PS3 and now, you know, we've come a long way and we've, uh, you know, made our own little setup here. Yeah, it's crazy to think about. But anyway, let's start off with the laptop here. We have the, it's like a Dell Inspiron. It's nothing special here. I used to use it for school uh, back when I still went there before I graduated. Um, I got it 2018, 2019. It's got an i5. 8200, 8th uh, gen processor. Um, it got the job done, still works perfectly fine. I still use it from time to time, but not as much. Whenever I do um, go home for the holidays or something, I always carry that with me. Um, oh yeah, uh, this thing right here uh, with the two drawers, that actually came with the TV stand over there. So I got those both from OfferUp. All right, so recently I made a video on my gaming monitor, my new one. I got this monitor, it's gonna be almost a month ago now. Uh, it's from Omen, HP's brand. It's a 4K monitor, 144 hertz refresh rate, one millisecond response time. It looks great. I mean, right now, dark background, sunlight hitting it, you know, directly. Um, and it's still bright, it looks real good. Um, it's a 27 incher and it's got video ports for you know two HDMI devices, a display port, a couple USB ports back there, USB-C, USB-B port. It's got a KVM switch built in, got an LED light in the back built in, no USB port needed. This thing's great, 400 bucks, very well spent. And all that shows what is running down here. So this is my PC, this one is a little old. This one's also been 
in three different setups. Um, I got it back in 2017, March of 2017, as an i7-7700K processor. 7th gen and we're already like on 14th man this thing is old but it still works that's why i haven't upgraded this whole time too it's had a gtx 1070 um but just a week ago i upgraded to a 3070 ti i bought it used uh from somebody on offer up really cool dude yeah he had a, a an extra 3070 ti that he didn't use he used to use it for video editing but upgraded to a 4090 or something like that something crazy so he sold his 3070 to me so now it's got an i7 7700k and a 3070 Ti that you can see the light bar right there. Looks real good. Runs games like a charm, man. This thing works nicely. Uh, 32 gigs of RAM. Still has the original one terabyte Western Digital Blue hard drive. That was just for storage. Um, but it is running on a 500 gig uh, SSD for like the operating system and the, the main stuff. Yeah, this is the Gomdias Apollo M2 case. Uh, it's got some nice big fans there in the front. And the other fans around the case are also from Gomdias. So those are real nice. Uh, yeah, this thing works really well. I don't plan on building a new one, a new permanent one for me at least. Um, I'll probably be building computers here and there, but for me to replace this one, probably not this year. I think this one's still good. Very expensive, so that's why I'm trying to, you know, upgrade little parts here and there um, instead of, you know, replacing the whole thing. All right, so just got my headphones charging there. Got a couple plants. This one that I ripped out of uh, another plant's growing some roots. Looks cool. Got a little phone holder here. So here is my phone. The one I'm recording with right now, it's my Note 10 Plus. It used to be my daily driver, but one day I just plugged it into the charger and it started smoking. That was maybe three years ago now. So I went out and got the Note 20 Ultra. It wasn't the latest phone at the time, but it was only about a year old. So I, I just went ahead and got it. So now this one, funny story, USB port, it doesn't smoke or anything but it doesn't work. <laughs> so if I want to charge it, uh, it has to be with a wireless charger. And the reason why I'm not recording videos with this phone is because my camera also does not focus, at least not the main camera. Like if I were to take a picture of a plant here, it would be a bit blurry. So yeah, luckily for me though, um, in about a week or two, the S24 Ultra is gonna be released. So I don't know, man. I think I'm gonna go ahead and, and pull the trigger on that one. I've been uh, really eyeballing it. It's either that or the iPhone 15 Pro Max, but I don't know, I'm, I'm, I am an Android guy, so I'll probably go with that one. All right, so this keyboard here, I, I recently made a video on the Razer Huntsman Mini, um, but for the holidays, I did go out of town and I actually forgot to bring it back. I, I took it with me and, and left it out there. So I am using this HP keyboard. It's, you know, it's not a gaming keyboard, but I've been using it for the past year and a half. Um, I don't game much on PC, just here and there. And it works for that perfectly fine. Once again, just casual games. Um, but I do really enjoy typing on this, this sort of keyboard. I don't know, feels really good. It's more of a like an office keyboard type of type of deal, but yeah, it, it works. And this Razer Mamba wireless, probably my favorite mouse that I've used. Got it back in 2021. I actually had COVID uh, when I unboxed it. So check out that video. This is going to be three years this month or next month. One hell of a mouse. All right, and this desk got it back in 2020, something like that. It's from IKEA. I'll leave a link down below. It used to have a little pullout. Um, like a, a separate desk here that you can roll out, but I, I got rid of that. Ikea desks, they're not like real wood. It's kind of like a hard cardboard type of thing, but this thing's been working for three years now, over three years. I've had my PC on top of it for most of that time with dual monitors, so this thing's not gonna break. Especially how I have it now, it's, it's you know, it's perfectly fine with just one monitor. All right, so that pretty much concludes this gaming setup. Oh yeah, this chair here. This is from Gomdias. I completely forgot the name of it, but I made a video on it a couple years ago, built and a review and all that good stuff. So I'll leave a link down below. Yeah, that pretty much concludes my gaming setup. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I know this was a long one, but I try to go through it real quick. Let me know if you think I should add some stuff, maybe recommend a, a bigger TV for this space. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching, and as always. Screw you guys, I'm going home.